Hi folks, how's it going? Irish Trapper here. It's been a while. Between business is absolutely booming at the moment and between business now and family life is absolutely crazy. I've got haven't got any time to get some videos out, but the trap line is a lot smaller at the moment due to business and stuff, stuff like that now. But I'm just showing you what I'm at at the moment. I had a Mark 6 Fen trap. I had a Mark 6 Fen trap there just on a crossover set. I'm in a nice big bog area. Nice big bog area at the moment. So you can see all forestry drains and all overgrown, ready to be planted. So you have a nice drain coming out there and a crossover here. You can see a pack going along there, but I had a fen trap there for a long time, absolutely nothing. So I have it there for good of a month, got nothing. So I'm pulling a lot of stuff up now because the vermin control is coming to an end. The last count now is the end of March. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up a bait station here for the summer. So all the stuff I brought in there for the vermin control there on Tuesday night. All the chop ups and all the stuff remains of that. I'll be putting down my bait station. Now as you can see here I have a minked cage. Just on lost this nice little drain here as well. And absolutely nothing. I've had this here as well for a long time. Guts of a month. Had some venison in it. So the venison's still in it. I'm a 116. Not even set off. Lovely little drain there. So I thought I'd definitely get something on that, but on the next planting up, I've got a male and a female mink. So, definitely thought I'd get something on this. Right, let's take this up. Let's get um, my bait station ready. Right, folks, just to show you my setup there. I have a 116, and I just designed the cage myself. I slide the 116 on the clip, and I slide it into the mink trap. So that's what I do. I find it very effective. Right, let's get this bait station set up. Right, walk up here guys. Lovely little track, there's the road. Forest Street just comes straight in. This is where they'll be cutting out the timber. There's a lovely little walkway going straight up here. There's some sign of foxes, a natural walkway for foxes. Definitely, so there you go, there's some fox sign there. Definitely here. Lots of cover for them. Perfect spot. Nice tight area. Perfect spot for a bait station. So I think I just got some foxtails in the in the bag here. Anything at all would attract them. Nice little tight runs like this. Perfect for them. Coming out like areas like that. Little tight run. As a stand, you could put a snare on this. No problem. Catch a fox, but. Like I said, it's gonna be my um it's gonna be my um summertime project. Alright. It's gonna have it down there. I'm gonna keep continue walking down here. There you go folks. Bits of fox tails and grey crow magpie wings just pegged into a pile there. Nice fox path, nice little run going all the way up there. And coming all the way down there as well. So it'll be easily snared, you'll be able to see the tracks coming in here no problem. And also, there's a kind of a pine marten, kind of a hole down there. Well, some sort of a hole down there. Mink, pine marten, whatever. Hole anyway, but I've been throwing kind of bits of mackerel and fish down there and tuna down there as well, creating a scent as well. You can see a nice pack coming along. Spade pinch point there as well, perfect. So, I'll leave this for a while. Nice pack coming up there as well. So I'll leave this for a while. Keep baiting it up. And then we'll put some snares on and see how we go. Right, let's move on to the next plant. And I have a planting up there as well. We've got two foxes without a bait pile, but I'm gonna put a bait pile on that as well now. Right, let's go. As you can see, just coming out of forestry now, guys. Lovely planting area, all overgrown. And people love to dump. As you can see here, nice fox paths coming out all around here as well. On the sides of plantings. So a lot of people dump the rubbish as well. And that's what they'll be feeding on as well. Nice little path there as well. Right, folks, here's the other planting now. I'm going to put my bait station. See people dumping as always. All torn apart by foxes, badgers, all sorts. Another planting in here, Forest Street. I think I have uh, only one snare left in there. I got two foxes in and I didn't bother to replace them. And I have two mink traps as well. I got 
a buck and a male and female mink in here as well on a drain, so let's have a look. See, nice trail going into us, lots of paths going off it. Nice natural woodland trail going in here. It's perfect for snares. I actually thought I'd get more foxes than I would, but like I said, I don't have too much time, so I'm going to put down a couple of snares in here now. See, nice, perfect paths here. Nice and tight. You see, got a fox there. Had a snare to your left there. Had a snare here. Caught a fox there. Caught a fox up here. All right, folks, this is where I'm going to put my um, bait station. Nice drain. We're on a bridge at the moment, and there's the drain. That's where I caught a fox. Nice pack going up there, never replaced it in butter. There's a nice mink run as well. Mink coming out of there, running across here. And over here, and this is where I caught the two mink. There. 116 magnum trap waiting there as he goes down. And I have a, a mink snare over here as well. There's my mink snare, going down into a hole. And I have a pat, a snare over here that he's getting pushed up. Right, we're kind of in the woods here where that pat goes off here. There's the bridge. The pat runs along here and the snare he keeps getting pushed up, but that's by badgers, so I don't mind that. You know what I mean? So what I'll do is I'll take this up and then when a bait station up and running, we'll put it back down again. Right, folks, that's my bait station set up now. I brought in 153 magpies and six greybacks in Tuesday there. And that's the remains of them there now. The wings all chopped up and a couple of foxes there, about maybe 40, 50 odd foxes there, tails of them. So that's my bait station there. That's the only way in. That's the pat running off into the woods with the snare I showed you. And I'll build up that snare back up again. So I'll have two running in there. So that's the only way they can come, guys. So that way, that way, or that way. So. Give that a month or so and hit it back up again, guys. I'll chat you later, guys. I have two fox snares to check. If I catch anything, I'll show you. If I don't, touch you later.